All right. It was 47 degrees, raining. We had the heaters on on the Jeep. It pretty much dried out my gloves. Um, these are very, very cheap rain pants. You can see they imploded at the crotch. And pretty much when I lifted my leg over the rig, over the dirt bike, we've got both phones charging. Uh, believe it or not, I've got one. I never used to have cell phone reception here, but I have one bar now with T-Mobile. So, uh, um, anyways, I do get a little bit of reception here, text messages, etc. Takes a little time for them for, for the message to send out and shit. But anyways, it's good to see that the sun came out. Um, this ground here is very deceiving. It's, it's slimy mud, so it's silt, mud. If it gets wet, say it were to, if it were to keep raining and raining for 24 hours straight, 36 hours, this would turn into a soup bowl right here. So uh, what you would have to do to get out of here, now right now it looks great because it stopped raining and the sun came out but you would have to unload everything the rig you'd have to get out of drive out of here four-wheel drive and uh get up on get up onto the high ground up here and then you would drive drive your rig up there load up there because you would not be able to pull through here with the rig on it what if this continued to rain this this would turn into a slimy slimy uh, bowl of mud and it could very easily you could very easily sink down to your uh, um, axles <laughs> I, I, I know it's like you're looking at it like right now like it's good and it is good now because it stopped raining I'm saying if it kept raining for 24 hours 36 hours you would have some trouble here. You'd have to back that trailer up empty, put it in four wheel drive low, and mm, keep moving. Mm. You would have to keep moving, you can't stop. Anyway, it looks like it stopped raining. Looks like we're good. Uh, we were riding the bike earlier this afternoon in 47 degree temperatures with full rain. And you, you've got it all here on the, uh, I recorded everything, of course. Now this river here, we're, we normally cross it over there, but it's too deep. The water is going to come up over the engine. I mean, the whole engine will be submersed and that's not, not good. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to do that. Um, if you like doing repair work on your bike, and I mean engine repair work, then go ahead and do it. But you're not going to ride your bike through that kind of shit on a normal day-to-day -day basis if you can avoid it and we can I mean I love going through there all the time but man and it doesn't look bad it's a bunch of loose gravel and the water's deep and you're gonna sink in that gravel even more and it, the, the water will definitely come up over the engine for sure so not good for the engine not good Anyways, guys, I mean, if it just touches the bottom of the engine, I can live with. But if it comes up over, it'll be up over the chain for sure. Well over the chain. <laughs> well up over the chain sprocket. That's not good. Anyway, so we did have a mid turn around there, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, yeah, we're just... Uh, trying to stay warm here I'm sure it's still cold out even though the sun's out and everything thank thankfully it looks like a sunny day for the rest of the day I'm sure it's probably still 50 55 degrees or just under that even right here in the sun but uh anyways we're gonna wrap this one up short bursts